Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about five custom conditional formatting tips. So we are going to deal with how to highlight your expired dates, how to make a dynamic border, how to check whether the date is falling in this range or not, how to find out a sum extent to a specific number, then my favorite we are going to deal with intersection now let's begin so in first topic we are going to deal with how to highlight our expired date whenever we are dealing with our custom conditional formatting the golden rule is every time you are putting a formula the answer shall come in true and false only now let's say i am talking about this date i want to check whether that this date has expired or not so what i'm going to do i'm going to just check whether the date is less than and equal to today so what it will give us it will give me uh, false because the date has already expired so now every time i will put that formula that will give me an answer that is true and false now if i'm going to press enter here it is true and if I'm going to drag and drop, you can see here it is coming false because this date has not expired. So using this rule, I'm going to create my custom conditional formatting. So I'm just copying this formula. So now whenever you are putting a conditional formatting, you need to select your range. So I'm putting my conditional formatting on this range. So I'm going to select this range. Now going to home tab, conditional formatting. So where we can find out the custom condition formatting in the new rule, I'm going to create my own rule let that is use a formula to determine which cell to format. Just click on it and paste the formula. So now answer is coming true and false. So now I, I can give a format. Let's say I'm giving a fill yellow fill. So every time the date will ex, uh, date has expired. So it will automatically become yellow. Now click OK. Now OK. So you can see all date which has already expired is now becoming as yellow. Now let's come to our second topic that is dynamic border. So what we are going to do in this video, in this topic we are going to learn how to make dynamic border. I mean let's say we have 73 row here if I'm going to enter the data till 74th row so if the border will automatically apply till 74th row now what I'm going to do I'm going to just select my data and let's say I am selecting my data till end why I'm selecting my data till end so I don't know uh, where how many row I have in future maybe 100 row 1000 row I need to apply the border so just uh, we need to select the border till end so now I'm clicking on condition formatting once again new row use the formula to determine which cell to format now just click on it now i need to again give a formula that will give me true and falses so what i need to do i need to just click on first cell i don't need this uh, dollar sign because I, if i will put give the dollar sign it will check only first cell so i need to remove the dollar sign by pressing f4 key f4 key now whether the formula uh, whether that this cell is not equal to blank so condition formatting only applies to those cells which are true. So if this will not be uh, blank, it means the answer will come in true. So now condition formatting will apply. Now I need to give a format, border, outline and click OK. Now you can see, click OK. The border has applied. Now if I'm going to delete, let's say two cells I'm deleting. So see, border has gone. If I'm going to enter here, current date and border has applied now this is the dynamic border now let's talk about our third instance that is date falling is in range or not in this lesson what we are going to do we are going to check whether that this date is falling in these two ranges or not now again we need to check true and falses so here we are here, here we have two logic we need to check this date is greater than this one and equal to this one or not this date is less than this one or equal to this one or not so now what we need to do we need to put and function 
and function give us more logical test so now here we need to check whether this state is greater than equal to this one and now I need to check this one once again whether this state is less than equal to this one so if the answer will come true it will automatically highlight in condition formatting now just close the parentheses and enter since this state is not falling in these two ranges so it is uh, showing us false now you can see these three dates are falling in this range so that's why it is giving a true now we can just copy the formula the golden rule you don't, don't need to forget answer should always come in true and false now just select your data now conditional formatting new rule and use the formula and paste now I'm giving a format let's say this time I'm giving dark red and font would be white and okay so whenever the date would falling in this range so it it will apply this font this in this fill now okay now you can see all the highlighted cell are falling in this range now let's come our fourth example that is we are going to find out how to check whether the sum is extend to specific number means and let's say here we have six month one two three four five six and here we want to check uh, how many numbers are giving a total to this number let's say here if we are talking about first instance so if I'm going to talk about till 22 21 so it will give us 95,823 and if I'm going to down one more cell it will give us 103469 so I need to highlight only less than this cell so I am going to highlight only 16 cell by using conditional formatting this time I am going to check again true and falses so what I need to do I need to check a cumulative sum how we can find out a cumulative sum just click uh, just write sum function and select your first cell and I am giving a um, using a trick what what is that I'm just pressing a colon it will give us a b6 colon b6 what I'm going to do I'm going to just freeze first cell and you can see I am freezing only row if I'm going down see it will give us a cumulative total and here it is now what I need to do I need to check whether this this cumulative total is less than this one I need to fix this row once again and enter so it is giving us true and if I'm going to drag and drop it again true because the this sum is not arrived till this one lakh now just one what we need to do we need to just drag and drop and see till 21 cell it, it is showing us true so I can enter this formula in conditional formatting just highlight your data and come to conditional formatting new rule use a formula and here we need to put a formula here it is now format let's say I am giving this time green light green I am giving click ok ok and you can see some extent to a number has highlighted so means if I am going to check about the green cell here it is 95,823 and beyond the screen the total will go up so now let's talk about our last case that is intersection now in this topic first we are going to do three things we are going to highlight whole march uh, this one and we are going to highlight a product like this then we are going to find out our intersection now what we need to do let's talk about a first condition formatting we are going to check our first column so what we need to do we need to just select our data like this so now conditional formatting new rule use a formula now I'm going to check my this value whether this value is equal to this one or not again answer will come in true and false now I don't need to freeze my columns equal to this one now format I'm giving 
let's say light green once again okay and okay and you can see the whole column has highlighted now if I'm going to change this value to January then this column will highlight then again we are going to use the same trick in product so again now I'm going to select my data now just go to conditional formatting new rule use a formula and this time I'm equal to I'm going to check this product I don't need to freeze row because I need to check the row wise now now format again I'm giving green green okay and okay and you can see this is the intersection and if I'm going to change the product let's say this one see this has changed so now I'm going to highlight this intersection part as red dark red so now we need to use end function because we again we have two logical tests this one is equal to this one and this one is not equal to this one let's just uh, put a end function first here so I'm going to check this one lock it equal to this one I don't I don't need to fix my row I need to fix my column now comma now again I'm going to check this one lock it equal to this one this time I need to freeze my row now enter so this is giving us false now just copy the formula and select your data now conditional formatting new row and use the formula and paste it here now format I'm giving dark red font as white and okay and okay and you can see intersection has highlighted as dark red now if I'm going to change my month May and you can see the result is coming fine now this is the five custom conditional formatting so if you want to see more you can just sub subscribe our channel and keep enjoying and keep learning